you know, it kind of something kind of dawned on me a day or two ago, uh, just perusing around, watching YouTube, just trying to chill, just trying to have a good, just trying to have a good time about it. And it's, I, it's just this thing that I'm just like, you know what? I have a simple mission. On, I have a simple mission on YouTube, and I think I'm succeeding at it. That simple mission is just never kink shame anyone, you know. Like I want this place to like, and it's not just kink shaming. It's just a matter that when, you never have to worry about something like that with me. I want to. I want to create a place where everyone can feel comfortable. Everyone. And yeah, it's it's like blah 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 about all this and that, but you know. Let's head out while I'm talking about this, because I can hit the town while I'm doing this. I intend to do some grinding before we... before we... Well, I have to do some grinding before we get into it, because I don't have the... I don't have the rank... the ranking fight... The, the ranking fight yet. I bought a new... I bought a new beam katana. And that drained, like, all of my cash. But uh, yeah, we can do a few. We can do a few of the K Entertainment missions, and uh, then 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 we'll be right into it. Cause I think we only need like two or three before we're there. But yeah, I, I, I my biggest mission is to just create a space where everyone can feel comfortable. You know. Like my philosophy is, as long as you're not doing something amoral, illegal, or, you know, harming people, you're fucking fine. No one should ha- no one has the right to judge you. Because, to some degree, in one way or another, everyone in the fucking world is a weirdo. But we should love each other for it. I love the differences in people. I love how different people are. I love the fact that I can look at this big, weird world and see, and see people who like weird things, and I'm just like, you know what, man? You're not doing anything wrong. You're you're fine in what you're doing. And then I see these fucking, like, just people who really need to get out of their own asses. Just like people who treat people like other people like utter shit over fake, stupid, fantasy bullshit that is not real and could never be real. And it's just like, do you really have that low of a standard of the world that you are going, are willing to treat people like shit for something fake? You know? Like, as long as you're not hurting anyone, as long as you're not, as long as you're not doing anything illegal or amoral, you're fine. Do as you please. I'd suggest also not being an asshole, but I can't ask that of the internet. I feel like this katana might be slower. Nah, I just gotta use the... I just gotta use the high attacks more. I'll continue on this on this thought in a second, because I'm I'm currently it's a bit loud, but you know I think I managed to I think I managed to control the vo my, the audio of my voice versus the loudness of the game fairly well throughout this series. Like I think I can be heard with like the with how I've managed to work my limiters so far. But it's just a concern. I just want to make sure, like, this point that I actually genuinely care about saying is heard, you know? So I'll say, I'll say, I'll, t I'll speak between it. I'll, I'll speak between these fights. Oh, 
I actually need I actually need to recharge the battery. Fuck you. They jumped up at just the right time. Nice. Getting as many combo kills as I should be. Like, I feel like Subaki Mark II was better for crowd control. Maybe less damage, but crowd control's, like, you know. In fights like that, where you really want to be chain killing like a lot a lot of mooks at the same time it, it's 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 almost it, you almost can't forfeit it you know okay where am i but yeah it, it came, i came to the like just this startling revelation of like you know people who refuse to kink shame on youtube are a rare breed even passive aggressively, like not actively, not like not actively targeting people, but just being like, oh yeah, fucking how how could how could, like oh you oh you get it you you better you better redact that statement or else my opinion of you is at stake. Fucking, that's toxic. That is toxic as fuck. I. Like I said, I don't care what you I don't care what you're into or or what you like or or what what you what you what I don't I don't care about the stupid bullshit that you enjoy as long as you're not doing as long as you're not hurting people or doing something amoral or or illegal you're fucking fine and no one has the right to judge you on it. No one has the right to understand you for no one has no one has the right to understand you. <laughs> No one, my, my fucking brain can garble everything, given the, given the opportunity. No one has the right to judge you for understanding other people. That's another thing, like, like, just, just this toxicity of people just being, being like, oh, oh, th this, this, this person enjoys this weird fantasy thing. Oh, I understand. You better unsay that, you fucking creep. No, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you too. <laughs> Building and car equally. Spell Tiger's getting too scratched up for this shit. Even though I have launched her off several ramps, I think I killed that person. <laughs> Sorry. You are not my target. But seriously. Calling someone out for being understanding? That is possibly the worst thing you could do. I... I don't... I really don't understand people sometimes. Forgot about the battery. That's all I need to do. Get away from me! Oh. 
Oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die! How dare you live? Bitch! How dare you live? Fuck. Bitch, how dare you live? Creaky ass chair. I'm gonna do that again. That didn't go so well. I'm gonna do this one a couple times. But yeah, I, I'm gonna make a bold statement. I think the cringiest thing in the world is, it, uh, like, pe people be like, Oh, look at this cringe! Oh, cringe, cringe! Cringy, cringe, cringe, cringe! But I think that, I think that in and of itself is the world's cringiest thing. And I hate cringe culture. It, it, it is manufactured division. I, I tweeted about this, oh, like, God, I don't know how long ago at this point. But... It really is. Cringe culture is just manufactured division. It doesn't... It, it doesn't fucking matter. What matters is if you're a good person. And I'm gonna say it. These people... These people attacking people over some fake bullshit... It, it, it's... They're not good people. But really, that's all. All I'm saying is, you can be, you can feel safe to be comfortable around here. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to call you out. Which one was it? This one. May you find you prefer? Yeah, you don't have to worry about that shit with me. Cause, fuck, I'm a fucking weirdo. I, I have no right to judge anyone. And honestly, I don't think anyone else has the right to uh, to either. Because in their... In, in everyone's own special way, they're a fucking weirdo. And they should love themselves for it. And they should love others for it. You don't even have to understand someone else. You don't even have to understand what they like to be like, you know what, that's your thing. Hell, I encourage you be... I encourage you being like, you know what, I don't get it, but if it makes you happy and you're not hurting anyone, go for it. But no one does that! The internet is a cesspool of, people's, of people screeching. Screeching about bullshit! Made up bullshit that doesn't matter! It's... it's... Uh, it's... it's horrible. The internet is horrible. And you know, if I can, if just, if through my presence, I can make, I can make the internet just slightly better, just slightly, I don't have to change hearts and minds overnight, if I can just be like, hey, here, here's a space where, where we understand and, and, and if we, even if we don't understand, we accept each other. Like, that's the thing about acceptance. You don't have to understand other people. You just have to accept it. We don't have to accept it, but understand that if you don't, you're kind of a dickbag. You're out here judging people and and attacking them on point stupid pointless bullshit.
Like, for the love of God, I have never heard more stupid bullshit th than people finding excuses to attack people over a fucking video game that they like or don't like! That is the most pointless shit in the world! Your life will be longer if you don't be an asshole about that! Is it so hard to understand that your blood pressure is... it has a limit to how high it can go! And when you're increasing it over something pointless like a like someone not liking or a video game that you like or liking one that you don't, oh my god, can, it it's so pointless. It's only worsening your life and the people's lives around you. And I get it. Some pe some people some people are like, "Oh, I didn't I didn't understand that I was making you feel like a like the like rejected scum of humanity. I didn't understand that I made you feel like you should like 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 I want you to die because I disagree with you, even though I said people that th people that think like you are f fucking need shot into space. I didn't me I didn't mean that." I didn't understand I was being an uncool piece of shit. It's just like, have some self-awareness. And if you don't have it, learn it. You know, I feel like I'm the only one preaching this. And maybe it gets annoying at some points, but I truly believe in it. It's pointless. It's pointless to get so worked up over stupid bullshit like this. It's so pointless to get so angry and disgusted for some fake stupid fantasy bullshit. It's so worthless to get so worked up about flashing images on a pretty light box. And I feel like I'm the only one that's saying this. Because whenever I watch other YouTubers, it's just like, it's just vapid, you know? It's just people act in, an, in this echo box of, I don't understand it, therefore it, it's, it's repulsive and alien and I want to tear down anyone that's, that's, that thinks positively of it. Because I don't like it, therefore you are not allowed to like it. And it's so pointless. Why can't people just get along? I, I don't understand mankind anymore. I don't think I ever have. And I doubt I ever will. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to fit, to, to fit my, my goddamn little ridiculous space of this... Of this fucking cursed ass world and just carve out my own path and just be happy and then there are people that are just like no because you like something that I don't or don't like something that I do I want you to I want you to suffer I want your life to be to be just agony and and just feeling like you are a a a I'm trying to I'm trying to think of the word a malformed being let's go with that you were produced wrong for feeling for, for thinking opposite of how I do it's so wrong it's 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 bad and the internet only exacerbates it because you can just shout anonymously into the void of the internet and yeah, you're gonna hurt people's feelings, but what what are they gonna do about it? Tell you that they tell you that you hurt their feelings? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think I think Subaki Mark th Mark Three is a bit is a bit too powerful for these for these arena fights. It it make it. It fucking makes them prone too easily, and the and the game kind of doesn't register prone attacks when there's other fucking mooks around. Smash. When I when I look like I'm just swinging into nothing, that's me trying to take the prone kill, and then it just, and then the game just being like, no, you're you're clearly trying to attack the enemies around you. I love this game, but I will not deny it's janky. It's got some jank to it. Like I hate the prone attacks. It wastes. A. It wastes time. B. It, it doesn't work as well as they. I think they intended it to. You. Going mad, madman, madman time, mad lad time, fucking. Yes, I got him. Nope. And sometimes it just registers w without me meaning to. It's got it's got some janky registration. Yeah, I think Subaki Mark II is made is is made more specifically for this fight. I might switch off to Subaki Mark II if we're gonna grind that mission. Wow, I got a silver on that one, Jesus. Eh, we don't need to do we don't need to get Subaki Mark II. We can just do that we can just do the the GIMP mission again. But yeah, it's it's so weird how like I I just I just I just see this simple path to making your own life better and making the people's lives around you better and everyone's just like let's let's go let's just go completely against that. Like not only do I not want to understand people, I don't want other people to understand people. Not only do I not want to accept people, I want to make sure that other people don't accept people. It's, like I said, manufactured, manufactured fucking division. I should fucking, I should fucking trademark that term, manufactured division, because that's what it is. That's what cringe culture is. That's what all these drama channels and Onesians and whatever have you just just being like, Hey, look at these fucking freaks! Don't you hate them? Go on all their forums and tell, and tell them that I hate them. And tell them how much you want them to kill themselves. It's so fucking... The world is a cesspool. And the internet exacerbates it. But... I don't know, I, t I tend to have more faith in mankind that only gets ground down by this shit. By shit like that, just people wanting to create division. It's horrible. But I try, I try my damnedest. And they can't destroy what faith and hope that I have. Because I see better in people. I always have. 
maybe not as a, maybe not as a dumb teenager because I fuck I I I was a dumb teenager. I try I tried, but you know hormones and shit. It's horrible. But I do my best to love and accept people. Excuse you? What, cobbler? I don't know. I don't know why I love what cobbler so much. I fucking watch that movie as a kid. I should watch it again sometime. Yes! I love that multi-kill. I'm gonna go over here. This is a no-gimp zone! Excuse you! No horny! Not my usual modus operandi, but right now I kinda don't need it. I don't need to deal with it. Where's the rest of ya? I'm trying to make money. This is a job. We're professional here. There we go. There we go, sunshine. That one's for you. Should I write a book? I don't fucking know. Alright, and we can get right into that, because I have nothing else I need to do. We already did everything. What? Spell Tiger. Spell Tiger. Okay. Weird bit of geometry there, but... Okay. Like, I feel like no one would even read it. This is just like, hey, blah, blah. Here, here's the most simple trick on how to live a better life. Improve the lives around you, and not and don't be an asshole. It's so simple. But I don't know. People, people get their jollies. People, people, people feel. People, that people are like people. Like, if they've gone through shit, they feel like they need to caught make shit in other people's lives. You know. That's like psychology or something. But it's not, it's not the way to live. It really isn't. Alright. Time for the rank one. But yeah. Light secret to living a better life. Don't kink shame people. Learn to accept people. Like, like th that's just one of those things that goes into everything. Don't be racist. Don't be. Don't be sexist. Don't be. Don't be a homophobe. Don't be xenophobic. Don't be religious. Don't be. Don't be a religious intolerant asshole. If you have religion, you, th then make it a bonus to your life. Don't make it lo like be an asshole about it. There are things you can, you can, you think differently about people. This is just one of them. 
just add it to that repertoire of don't be an asshole. It's, li it's literally with everything. Don't be a homophobe. Don't be a transphobe. B accept people. Even if you don't understand them, you don't have to understand someone to accept them. And that's my mission on this whole YouTube bullshit. Just accept people. Make a place where people can be comfortable and not feel judged or treated like shit. You know? That's my mission. I want to create that space. Because it's so few and far between spaces where people aren't like, Hey, look at these fucking freaks. Go torment them. Because I said so. Let's see. Let's, let's go on with it anyway. Why didn't I call this number in the first place? Uh, hello? Hello? May I ask who's calling? This is the Assassin's Association, right? Look, I gotta talk to you about... Oh, dear. She's done it again, hasn't she? Hey, are you listening? Excuse me for asking, but are you by chance an assassin? Whoa, don't tell the whole world. Then you have been had, sir. You are not her first. What? Run that by me again. Listen to me. Do not get involved whatever you do. Listen, lady, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Who are you, anyway? Another sorry kid. And for the record, I am Sylvia's mother. Mother? Yes, you heard me. And there's no such thing as an association, or whatever you think exists. You're joking, right? Do you know how many people I've killed? She is a professional con artist. You mean a fraud? Are you telling me this was all just bullshit? She set everything up. Would you mind telling me how far this all went? I'm now second in rank. So, just one more to go. Alrighty. Why not play along since you've come this far? Are you serious? What's the point? This is all some make-believe charade. But a good man finishes what he started. Fight to the end. Your most formidable opponent awaits in the castle. Now, off to the Garden of Madness. Yo, what? Yo, what? That was a twist I did not see coming. Yo, what? I need to pet the kitty. Hey, girl. Hell, there are some people that would go out of their way to hate on cats and cat lovers. This isn't about this isn't about fetishes. This is about just accepting people for the love of God. You're a good girl, Jean. It's literally just about being a good person and making people comfortable and not treating people like shit. You know? I feel like I'm barking into the void. Yo, what the fuck, Darth Laser? I gotta walk there? First of all, how dare you steal Spell Tiger? Better not scuff up her paint. I'm gonna fucking come get you. Where the fuck are you? I, I pressed the wrong button. Castle? I gotta walk all the way over there. Well, better get running. Time to jog. Need the workout anyway. But yeah, but Blight's life advice that he keeps eh, that he keeps echoing into the void: be a good person, treat people well, accept people even if you don't understand them, and fuck for the love of God. Like so many of these people that people are just barking hate at. Like they're harmless. Like e like a, like the vast majority of them. Yes, in every community with every single thing that exists, there's always going to be the one, the one piece of shit that the, that these that these people who want to hate are going to point to and say, "No, see, my point is valid." But it, it's really not. 
You are picking through, you are finding the needle in the haystack just to call the, st the haystack a stack of needles. <sighs> I don't feel like it's hopeless, though. I think that with enough effort, the world can change for the better. But it's going to have to be a collaborative effort for everyone to say, look, we need to stop treating people as lesser. Like, no matter who they are, no matter what they believe, no, ma no matter how they think, if they're just, if, if they're not hurting anyone, if they're not doing anything immoral or amoral or illegal, then it's fine. What are you doing here, Spelt Tiger? Come on, girl. What do you got? Welcome to my castle. Dark Star. Okay, I, th I thought that was. I, I didn't know. That, I thought that was something I, I was supposed to drive into to get like a bonus thing. I thought it was a crate. Do I bump you off? Okay, I don't. Man, this, this, these are these are things that that I that I'm like yeah I'm always crap. I'm always preaching on about about this garbage, but it's it's shit that I believe in, you know. Like I think we can get I think the whole world can get to a place where we just see people as people. Like, it's fine to not understand someone, as long as you, you just accept that people are different, you know? Whoops. Can't change perspective here. That's always been my philosophy. Good, good for you, dude. <laughs> fucking pizza dinosaur over here. Now that is a reference. G congrats, dude. I'm actually starting to enjoy this. Good for you. It's, it's, I don't know. Like, I, I, feel like I should expect it at this point, but I don't want to expect it. I want to think better. Come on. Like, I want, I want to not look at people as just hopeless, you know? <laughs> Come on, girl! Okay. Okay, I gotta jump real early for these. Sorry to hear about your crash. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch! You really gotta preempt those jumps. This looks like it's a straightaway leading to. Oh. Ooh, okay. Son of a bitch. What? No more lasers? Dark laser. Whoops.
don't put me back at the beginning of that. Oh. Oh boy, I'm gonna have some time to I'm gonna have some time to chat. But yeah, Blight's philosophy on life: be good to people. Don't do any, and as long as you're not doing anything illegal, amoral, or like actively hurting people or animals, got the hiccups. Yeah, if you're not hurting people or animals, doing something illegal or amoral, you're fine. No matter what some idiots online may say. Because people are going to be assholes no matter what. The, like, if, if people are assholes, they will continue to be assholes. Like, and yeah, I do think that people can change. But change doesn't happen overnight. If only it did, you know? But that's not how the world works. That's not how the world ever will work. Until we can, like, implant empathy chips into people's brains and be like, Hey, you want to know how we, you want to know how other people feel? Well, well, let me transfer your, well, let me cause your brain juice to act like as they, as theirs do. And then we can finally be past this stupid horseshit. All this. Stupid bullshit that just create and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my new favorite term manufactured division because that's what it is that's all it is that's what cringe culture at its core is it's a fake reason to hate people Oof. that's what that's why I Never have been able to get into cringe content. No matter, no matter if some of my friends are like, "Look at this cringy shit! Isn't it so cringy? Can't, can't, don't you love it? Seeing th these, th these people screaming at people at Walmart. Don't you love it when these grown women are acting like, ch like, like entitled little children? No, it, it, it makes it, it hurts my will to live." I can't see how you take enjoyment in this. <sighs> I love those trees. Yeah, cringe culture, Karen compilations, just all these things look saying, hey, look at how terrible people are. I, I can't get behind it. It's just not me. Not how I feel about the world at large. Because that's a terrible way to look at the world. If you're looking at the world for the worst of the worst, you're only going to see the world as a waste, you know? Yo, what?! I sure love that when I do- when I fuck this up, I have to go back to the fucking beginning of it. That's fun. And it's also a matter of, you know, on the internet, people aren't allowed to make mistakes. That's how cancel culture is created, and it's nine times out of t nine times out of ten, it's it's some it's bullshit of people that have already decided that they want to hate a person, so they're going to. It's people actively wanting to destroy someone, and the internet gives them that opportunity. That, that's, that's, you know, the biggest problem with cancel culture is the internet has the ability to expose people for genuine wrongdoings. And then some people use that to just get attention and pity money. They have the ability to just ruin someone because they felt like it. 
Yeah, good for you, man. Like what happened with, with one of my like what happened with one of my fa one of my favorite root YouTubers like in 2019. The people that did that just like all they wanted was attention and pity money. Because it was just like, oh, j j donate to, oh, you feel so bad for me, right? Because, oh, the big bad, the big bad, who I, who, who, who definitely isn't going to bring out the truth one of these days. He, oh, he bad. Here's my PayPal account. If people, terrible people will be terrible. They will find new ways to be terrible. Stop. They will use whatever they have... Whatever they have in their abilities to be terrible. How? And, again, the internet. The internet has... On the internet, you have the amazing ability... You drove through that. You have the amazing ability to have people seen for their wrongdoing. Like, if someone's done something horrible, the internet will see to their punishments, whether we, whether we like the fact or not, whether we like the fact or not, whether it's an actual thing that they actually did or not. And people use that to destroy people just because they're vindictive or hateful. No reason other than they want to destroy. And of course, get the attention and pity money that will come from it. I don't think it's entirely hopeless. Because there are a lot of good people in this world. I fucking pressed it! This is fun. But yeah, like I was saying, oh, like I was saying the the uh, like I was saying like a couple episodes back, where it's just like, oh hey, so, so someone tried to cancel someone, then then was just like, oh I'm sorry, I was trying to spread misinformation. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna private my account because I, I, I because people are going to see that I'm a total shit face for do, for doing so, for, for lying about someone and trying to destroy them for no reason other than I hate them. It was on a hate blog too. Why did for even a moment people t people take a post from a hate blog seriously? The, those the people there were ha were predisposed to try to destroy these people. Well, this person, and by extension, these people. So, yeah, it's it's horrible. And and even like today, I saw I saw videos from two from two days ago when the second this whole drama started, before any of the facts came out. Before the person that tr that made the call out was like, "Okay, it was made up. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm so sorry that I tried that I tried to cancel you. And just panic back out." Before before fact of the matter is, and all these videos are just like, "Fucking cancel forever." The piece of shit that we that we finally have exposed. Here's our here's our full coverage on on the on the, on the cancellation of this fuckwit. And it's just like, yeah, you, you, you sure have a life, buddy. <laughs> nice. And, yeah, if I wanted to, 
If, if I wanted to sell my soul, I could absolutely do nothing but stalk people's social media waiting for someone to get cancelled and then make a big, loud, obnoxious clickbait video about it. Like, the second it happens, hey, I get views! But that's not what life is about. Hell, when it comes to all this bullshit that happens on the internet, I don't, I don't even know if I know what life's about anymore. I hope life is about being good to people and enjoying your life without hurting others or doing immoral, Ill amoral, illegal shit. I hope life isn't about starting drama and cancel culture and cringe compilations. I hope that's not what life is about. Because if so, press the eject button on me. I don't want it. Like I've said before, when you when when we have when we have fucking deep dive tech, put me in and don't take me out cuz I'm done with this world. It it it's cursed. Exclusively cursed. Okay, now let's not fuck this up. Jump it, jump it, jump it, jump it, jump it! I'm having fun with this game. But yeah, that's... That's my two cents on... On people just... Treating people as lesser. I can't... I can't handle it. That's why I need to get out of the environment I'm in. Because I live with someone who considers themselves and who and who they are and what and what they are to be the be all end all of society. And that anything else is trash that needs to be burned. I live currently, hopefully, by the time you're si Thank God. Now you're out of my way. By the time you're watching this, I won't be where where I currently am anymore. But we'll see what happens. And you and you know the second that that, and you know the second that, for the love of fuck! I hate the stage. The second I'm out of it, I wonder if I can ram you. Good. The second I'm out of this place, I'm going to start living a better life. I'm already making I'm already making strides towards that. I'm, I'm working on bettering my schedule, my my sleep schedule. I want to start. Oh, you get what you fucking deserve. Okay, good. I'm gonna go so far as to say that doesn't that actually doesn't. Ha! <laughs> well, I was gonna say I'm gonna I was gonna go so far as to say that actually doesn't in increase my speed. saying is there's more to the world than cringe compilations and cancel culture bullshit because the, because there are there are equal there are there are people who deserve to be called out for being terrible pieces of shit like not to not like in 2020 someone that I looked up to, someone that I respected, someone that I thought was 
a good person, someone that led me down the path of pursuing YouTube as something I wanted to do, an inspiration for me, turned out to be a fucking monster. But the difference is, they outright stated it. No one exposed them. They openly admitted it themselves. Let's please do this. Okay. Thank God. Ooh, we got Spooky Woods! <gasps> Spell Tiger! No! Spell Tiger! No! Spell Tiger! Oh, she's smoking! Go to your rest, queen. You are the queen of all queens, Spell Tiger. No. Thank you, Master. Sweet. He guides me down the path, the right path of spookiness. Wait a second. That that silhouette. Okay. For some for some reason, my 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 brain saw this silhouette as having a skirt. And down you go. Okay, gotta be quick on it to get the to get the kill. Yes. Okay, which way? It's going to be a matter of trial and error. I don't know if I chose I did, I think. Thank you, Master. I remember which way he pointed. That way. But I need this health first. But yeah, I tirade too much about that shit. I just want people to treat people better than we currently are in this, in this fucking cursed-ass world where where people revel in some, in Hey, I caused misery today. Hooray! Get fucked! Get fucked! Get fucked! Slicey, slicey. Bitch, how dare you live? Ooh, I need... Thank you, Master. I need health. 
We need health big time. Farewell. Travis, that path of men is not path of men is not path of beasts. Do you understand? You know, your edge can be a po your edge can be poison or cure. To be learned is the path, and to be ignorant is also the path. Your path, your path is that, a path that no one, nothing can pass, yet the path goes on. Devotion is only given to those who, who perfect single thing. Reward then. No reward those who do not perfect. Does a reward or just e does a reward or just evil lie down your path? Fight until you die, Travis. Thunder Ryu. Thank you, Master. Always remember what you taught me. To be fucking swole. And do my best. Oh, this should be gold. Travis, can you hear me? It's Sylvia. I never thought you'd make it this far. But I am sorry. I cannot see you anymore. I want to fly to your side right now. I want to be in your arms. I want to be with you. I want to share my life with you, no matter the cost. Meeting you, I felt truly alive for the first time. I mean that. But feelings and reality are two different things. Life is not that simple yet. Now. Be honest. Did you really think I would let you do me if you hit number one? You really are an idiot, aren't you, Travis? Come back to reality. I mean, look at yourself. You are a dopey otaku assassin. The bottom of the barrel. No woman would be caught dead with you unless she was a desperate bitch. Where in the world could you find a woman who could fall in love with someone like you? Well, one is right here. It was fun, Travis. I love you. Now, don't forget to use the restroom. Trust your force and head for the garden of madness. Gonna have to forgive me if I don't believe you. Was it fun? Was your twisted little game amusing, Sylvia? Toilet paper tree. Hey guys, sorry to cut it here. Uh, no more heroes can be pretty unpredictable with uh, how long you're going to be spending on like the side jobs or like the quote unquote or in the like quote unquote dungeons or in the boss. So. So, so I got I kind of got to cut it here for time's sake. You, you guys understand, I'm sure. But uh, we got we got big stuff coming up, and I hope you're excited to continue the series. And I'm excited to continue. I'm excited to continue playing this game because it's it's awesome. I, I'm I'm loving this, even if I rage at points, you know. And even if and even if points are being you know unpredictable with their timing, so. You know. 
As always, everyone, YouTube's algorithm is an evil overlord robot assassin that can only be defeated when you like videos after you watch them. Subscribe if you haven't, and leave a, leave a comment so we can save the world, and by that I mean this channel, and help it grow despite the despite the algorithm. So I'll see you guys next time, and stay tuned.